What's going on internet? IG here again. And I feel like I owe you in a bit of apology because gosh, I haven't been around for the last couple of weeks. I've been pretty busy as you can imagine. But today's video is gonna be a bit of an update where I've been, uh, a bit of a rant on the state of the Linux world at the moment. And also a bit of a, I guess an update in terms of what's happened in the last couple of weeks. So first of all, let's start with an update. Where have I been? Well, I went on holidays up in the Whitsundays, which if you're not familiar where that is, it's basically at the bottom of the Great Barrier Reef. So I went snorkeling, scuba diving, it was amazing. Uh, come back, started a new job, and then also happened to get engaged, which is also pretty exciting. Yes, I proposed to her in a lovely field of tulips, uh, and we'll probably be getting married sometime next year. So as you can see, I had good reason to be away from the computer for a while. Uh, so all of those things have been happening in the last couple of weeks, really in the last month since I've made a video. And, uh, and then also in the Linux world, there's not really been a whole lot going on. And that's where we come to part two, the bit of the ranty side of things. So obviously we do have another Ubuntu release out there now, 14.10. But to be honest guys, really, really do you want me to do another video about Ubuntu? Because at this point, there's not really that much that's impressing me about the latest release. Obviously, probably the most impressive thing is going to be the Linux kernel 3.16. And to be honest, you can get that in quite a few different Linux distributions already. So there's not really a whole lot going on with the latest release of Ubuntu. It's kind of the calm before the storm as far as Canonical's, uh, as far as Canonical's concerned, because they will be making obviously big changes to Unity and to Ubuntu as a desktop in the coming versions. But for this version, there's really not much that's been uh, improved apart from, from some bug fixes from 1404. So I'm not gonna be shifting any of my Ubuntu based installs. And to be honest, there's not really seeming to be a whole lot going on in terms of other distro releases, at least that are geared towards desktop users. Uh, now I'm not saying that there's always, uh, that there are always Linux distributions being released and being put out and there's bunches of them on DistroWatch, but for the, for the large part, and I know this sounds bad, so don't take it the wrong way, but I really don't care. I mean, unless a Linux distribution is coming around and doing something, uh, at least as far as I'm concerned, I know there are plenty of niche users out there, but at least as far as I'm concerned, unless a Linux distribution is coming around to do uh, something new, present something different, and something more user-friendly, so that average desktop Joes who are just gonna be using their computer to do emails, web browsing, and that kind of thing, can use a Linux distribution, then I guess I don't really have much, uh, I don't really have much time for it. And I guess the point being is that when this channel started uh, there were heaps of those distributions and everybody seemed to be trying to do those uh, to accomplish those goals in a Linux distribution nowadays I don't know about you but the whole interest in Linux on the desktop as a whole is kind of stagnated there really hasn't been too much to speak of and I mean nowadays I look at DistroWatch and I'm like okay it's a bit quiet over here Whereas, I mean, before it seemed like every other week there was another consumer-friendly distribution that had come out and hit the servers. Uh, it was worth looking at and worth digging into. Nowadays, well, there are still the big players and they're still going to release distributions and I'm still gonna talk about them because they're still interesting. But as of right now, like very, like right now, the thing that I'm most interested in is probably KDE Plasma 5. Um, so I'd be curious to check that out. But of course, Ultimately, this channel is about what you guys want to see and and also straddling that with what I want to do So I guess what I'm saying is that if you guys come across a consumer or desktop user friendly Linux distribution and you think it's awesome Then definitely let me know comment or uh, let me know on Facebook Twitter or Google Plus and uh, and I'll look into it, but chances are there's not really that much new stuff happening out there at the moment. At least that's my perception. I could be totally wrong. So with all that in mind, I would love to ask you guys which versions of the latest Ubuntu family would you like me to look at? Because to be honest, I have no interest in reviewing the Unity version whatsoever because there's literally nothing that's changed apart from a few things under the hood. And while under the hood is nice from a performance standpoint, and I probably will check it out, uh, I won't make a video on it because it just doesn't make for very good content, does it? So I think what we'll do is just pretend that this release cycle never really happened, apart from KDE Plasma 5, which is kind of a technical preview for Kubuntu. So let me know what you think about all of those thoughts down below. I'm open to any kind of responses you like. So I guess the next question that comes to mind then is, well, what is going to be the focus for my channel? Well, 
To be honest, you've kind of already seen a little bit in what I've wanted to do with the OpenSUSE, uh, switching to OpenSUSE series. I really liked the idea of that series and how it went, and I loved you guys' feedback, and I might be doing one or two more videos in that series, but I'm also pretty happy with where it stands at the moment, and also I've been pretty happy with the way the desktop's been set up, and honestly I haven't really done much tweaking of, of it since. However, these sort of series I think is where the, the bulk of the value for my channel is going to be in nowadays, because of the fact there just doesn't seem to be a whole lot of interest and uh, constant news streaming of, uh, of what's happening in the consumer-oriented desktop Linux world. So let me know what you think down below, thank you for watching, and I will catch you all in the very near future with another Linux-oriented video. Also, we might be checking out a device review or two in the mix as well. So thank you all for watching, and I will catch you next time. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.